What's up guys? So in this section, we're going to be talking about polynomial functions and polynomial functions in general take this kind of format. So this is an example. So y is equal to negative 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x minus 7. In general, the kind of format that they take is this right here. So we have this a n x to the power of n where this a n is just a coefficient plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a bunch of expressions or terms in between plus a1 x1 the a1 is a coefficient plus a0 which is a another coefficient so let's go into a little bit more detail talking about what each part of the general form means and if there's any restrictions on them for the function to be a polynomial function so the first thing is let's talk about what this n means. So n just means that it's the degree of the function and it's always the highest exponent. And the restrictions on n is that it must be a positive and whole number. So for example, if we go to the example that we gave here, the degree or the n value is the highest exponent in this polynomial, which is this three here. So we would say that this polynomial function has a degree of 3, or the n value is equal to 3, the highest exponent. The next part are these a n, a n minus 1, a 1, a 0. So I wrote these out here. And these are just called the coefficients in the polynomial function. And the coefficients can be any real number. So they can be positive, negative, they can be decimals, they can be whole numbers. So in our example, the coefficients are negative 4, 3, 5, and negative 7. Now, in terms of the coefficients, we can go into even more detail. So this a n here, this is called the leading coefficient. And we're going to be using the leading coefficient a lot in this chapter. And as with all the coefficients, it could be any real number. And it's just basically the coefficient in front of the variable x with the highest exponent or with the degree. So in this example, the leading coefficient is equal to negative 4, the coefficient that's in front of the x with the highest degree. And the other coefficient that's uh, fairly important usually is the a0 one, this one here at the end, and that's just called the constant term. And it's the coefficient that has no x variable attached to it. So for example, here in this polynomial function, the constant term, the one that has the coefficient that has no x variable attached to it is this negative seven. So the constant term is equal to negative seven. So we're going to be using the degree and these leading coefficient constant terms in terms of figuring out certain properties for the polynomial functions and we'll get into more detail about those in future videos. And of course the y and the x, the y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. Now one last thing I want to mention before finishing off this video is that this general form that I've given you here in this example, these are in expanded form. So what I mean by that is, let's say you have a polynomial function, y is equal to x squared, uh, let's say minus 3x minus 10. Right, so this is just a quadratic, which is a type of polynomial function. So just as a review, the degree is 2, the highest exponent, the leading coefficient is 1, there's a 1 in front there, and then the constant term is this negative 10. Now this form of this polynomial function is expanded. However, we can also write this polynomial function as y equals x minus 5x plus 2. 
And that's the same thing. If you were to take this and foil it, you would end up getting this expression here. So both of these are the same. They're both polynomial functions, except this form here is factored form. And in future videos, we'll talk about in more detail how to deal with factored form because there's certain things that are easier to get or to use with expanded form and there's certain things that are easier to use with factored form and we'll go through those trade-offs in future videos. But just make sure that you're conscious or aware of the fact that in this video we're talking about expanded polynomials, not factored polynomials. So all of these properties here you get from an expanded polynomial.